Hi guys, so we all want to know where is the best place to get yourself listed that the knowledge panel will use to pull through your information and make sure that your knowledge panel sticks or triggers. Now, these entities or whatever you want to call them are hugely important and it's highly recommended that you get these. Now, I've mentioned Jason Bernard a number of times, and Jason is a, a website called calicube.pro. Now, if you go to tools.calicube.pro, which will be in the uh, listed below, then you'll be able to see what you see in front of me here, which is a list of sources cited in the knowledge panels. Now, obviously, if you're in the U USA, you can look at the USA, you've got Australia, Canada, UK. Now, obviously a company or a corporation can get a knowledge panel and a person can get a knowledge panel. I'm more interested in the person stuff, but if you're interested in getting a company one, click the company one. Now, <coughs> you can click go and it's going to give us the best places to get yourself listed for the knowledge panel. Um, now, Jason's also confirmed that you can get your brand into the knowledge graph or the knowledge panel without a Wikipedia page, although most of the people that are on the knowledge panel do actually have a Wikipedia page. It's not going to hurt you, but it's really hard to get a Wikipedia page these days. But there's a whole bunch of other entities out there that you can get yourself on, which will allow you to get that knowledge graph. So excluding Wikipedia, you can go to google.com and get a list, a listing IMDB, which is the internet movie database. And that's quite hard if you've not been in a movie and you've not been, uh, you know, having casting credits. Um, DB, so you can see here, uh, I've got an IMDB profile and uh, you can use your creative mind to try and get yourself one. Um, but that is what IMDB looks like. And you can get yourself a profile on there. That's quite a serious profile um, to be getting and one that you should get because quite a lot of people have that that have got the, the knowledge graph. Crunchbase is another place you want to go and get yourself a profile. You can get a personal profile. You can get a business listing. LinkedIn is another one fandom.com which is a kind of wikipedia thing now to get a, a fandom page you can go to legit again and get someone to do it for you um there's guys here that can do it for 50 bucks um, and it'll basically create you a fandom page which will look something along the likes of that and you can put all your details in there. And again, it's just an alternative to Wikipedia. It's not as powerful as Wikipedia, but it's really important to get it. Now you can also get Everipedia uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff from websites like Legit. You can probably go on and create these yourself, but do you really want to and understand and do all the politics thing in the background? It's probably just worth paying 50 quid to get that. But again, going back to Jason's tool, you can see that entrepreneur.com, search engine land, HarperCollins, Amazon, that I think that's supposed to be Wikitia. Oh no, there it is there, Wikitia is there. Uh, New York Times, Speaker Hub. So a lot of these are places that you can get listed on. Now search engine land and various other places, you're either gonna have to pay money or you're gonna have to do something to work your way on there, you know, contribute some information or whatever it might be. But the likes of Crunchbase, LinkedIn, and a whole bunch of these other things, you can actually go and do yourself. And that's what I would highly recommend. So there's a whole bunch of places that uh, that can help you. Manchester Evening News is one in the UK. And as I say, these change for the different locations you're going to be in. So if you're in America, then you want to be looking at, what, <coughs> at what's working well for people who have the knowledge panel in America. Now, again, some of these websites are going to be different. Instagram, Everybody Wiki, some of them are the same. But 
the main thing is is that you want to make sure that you get yourself on there either pay for it do it yourself take the time and effort to go and get yourself listed in all these places because these are credible places where you can get your person or your business listed on and that is going to help you solidify that knowledge panel make sure it sticks make sure that you look like a credible and trustworthy source by being listed on these credible websites that's what it's all about and you can either pay for that do it yourself or whatever use again your creative mind if there's something you think you can't get there probably will be a way you just got to ask around or think outside the box um that's all i'm going to say on that matter but uh it's up to yourself but you know you can look at websites like this and you don't have to worry too much about getting yourself a wikipedia page and um, i think that was several years ago you probably had to have a wikipedia page but wikipedia people are a pain in the backside wiki data they're becoming harsher and harsher and harsher with uh, the listings and they're removing a lot of digital marketers and people that are maybe not as noteworthy as a hollywood actor so you've got to use these other sources to push that um, knowledge panel for yourself so have a look at Jason's website, it's tools.calicube.pro and you'll be able to see exactly what you need and just start to slowly build that out. Now if you ask someone to do this for you, they'll probably tell you it takes two or three months to get your knowledge panel triggered. That's because they're away in the background filling all this stuff out. It's a pain in the backside, no one wants to do it and that's why it takes so long because you're trying to build up a whole bunch of credible sources to ping that knowledge graph and that is the type of websites that Google are using to verify that you are a trustworthy and credible and noteworthy source of having that knowledge panel so have a look at that and go away fill out some of these buy up some of the other stuff and you will be well on your way to getting that knowledge panel that you want now there is going to be more videos on after this on some other things that i've done based on pr and stuff like that which again is just going to help but uh, yeah that is what you want to do when it comes to entities also what you can do is go to the likes of wikidata and look at other people i've been blacklisted by wikidata and wikipedia that doesn't mean you are just I will talk to you about them in the next video but if you can get them you're going to help that process happen a little bit faster so just be careful what you're doing watch the next video and i'll tell you why you need to watch what you're doing